Hey y'all, welcome to KRite.com where we talk fashion and beauty for women over 30. Today I'm going to show you how I curl my short pixie cut, how I get it to lay down even though it is still very wavy because I'm not fully relaxed. I am natural but I did run a relaxer through my hair. Also if you want to become a member of the crew, subscribe and click the link down below. Okay y'all, first what I do <clears throat> is we're going to acknowledge the fact that my hair is very curly <laughs> and it's not really... It's not really wanting to do what it's gonna do, but I'm gonna make it. So I put some oil, I'm just using jojoba oil today. You can use whatever oil your hair like. My hair likes jojoba oil and or olive oil. So I just rub this on the mold. And actually use this to kind of break the mold a little bit. And then I just take a comb and I just break my mold. So yeah. And I'm just combing it out um, and I comb out like you know every part of the mold I don't want it to still be molded anywhere you can see that it's like poofy you know and real wavy it's real real wavy but I'm gonna use some heat to give it a oil of that so got it all down and then I go through and just kind of break it up a little bit lift it off the scalp and then I take some hairspray and I'm doing all these these steps because my hair really does not want to be straightened and lay down so I have to take extra you know I have to do extra stuff to get it to lay down so I'm gonna spray a little bit of this before I curl it and just real light not anything heavy just enough to kind of get in there and this is hairspray. This is Sebastian Shaper. This is their original formula, and this gives you a soft hold that you can comb through. Okay, and I'm using two curlers today. This is the FHI Heat um, 1 8 of an inch iron. And then this is the, I think this is the Babyliss, Babyliss, however you pronounce that, titanium. Oh, yeah. Babyliss. Um, this is like a half inch. So this one I use in the front where it's a little bit longer. This really helps me get in the back to those real short pieces. I start, however, random. I usually try to find my part. So if I turn to the side, I want my hair to go like this. And that's kind of where I want my separation. So that's usually where I'll start. And there's no rhyme or reason. I don't part real good, none of that. But you can see right there, it's kind of a part. And I just take a small section like so you see juicy and I take the babyliss because this is a little bit more hair up here and I go in and I'm just clamping it and then I'm just curling it forward that's it and if I really wanted that little piece and it was all that major I'll go back and get it it's not that major to me so it's all about what kind of curl you want um, I'm gonna curl it a little more like curl curl so I'm making sure the ends are bent now, I always have one rat tail comb, two rat tail combs, and then another real small tooth comb that doesn't have the tail on it. This used to have like the little wire because that helps me to do this and not have the tail of the comb in the way. Like if I was to put this here, the tail of the comb keeps getting in the way as I'm trying to, um, you know, like part my hair and stuff. So I just keep going and I'm kind of going... Y'all have to use the flakes. I'm kind of going like this. There's a little bit of a diagonal spin to what I'm doing here. But yeah, this don't take long at all for me to curl my hair. And I can usually do one pass like that. Unless I get to a section where it's just real, real wavy. And it's not that bad in the top because there's more length to it. So it doesn't take as much for me to lay those waves down. Um, as it will like on the sides and in the back and so I just kind of keep going that's all I don't do different directions and stuff unless unless I'm really doing something like I don't know you know real special and fantastical but for the most part like just a day to day kind of curling my hair I don't I just curl it real fast we just getting her done that's it 
that's all I'm doing. And you can see it's straightening out real nice because I'm still curly, but I did run a relaxer through my hair. So I can tame it if I want to. The back is real short and it's waved back up and I have not relaxed it again in the back because I'm actually growing my hair back out and I'm just gonna leave it curly. So in the front, this is what I do. Y'all know I got my little baby hairs like that, but I like for this part to actually go back. So I just take it and curl it back. So that's that piece. Juicy, juicy. And then just depending on what's going on, how I'm feeling, I'll go to this side or that side. It doesn't really matter. I just try to kind of start back in that same section and continue to comb it out and curl it comb it out and curl it and i'm still kind of going in um you know that diagonal type direction you can see the direction of that curl i just made and then i still just use that comb to move it out of the way and y'all see me looking over here because that's where my mirror is and so yeah that's all i do i just you know curl it are y'all i know i got a lot of ladies who follow me whose hair is short but y'all tend to be short and natural. Like, are there any ladies who follow me who are still short and relaxed? And I say still because this is what my channel used to be. I used to just do short, relaxed hair tutorials all the time. But I figure, since I do still curl my hair, and the channel is fashion and beauty, you know, I can do my hair on him. Y'all, I got the biggest ball spot in history because I jacked up my hair wearing a wig and it's growing back but right now it is looking very very scarce honey and then when I get more down here I start curling more down so I'm still kind of in that same like area where I start curling and I'm gonna go more down than diagonal so yeah I just wonder how many of y'all are still like relaxed you know short and relaxed and when I get close to the edges I kind of tend to leave those because my hair does not like to lay back down after I curl it so if I lift that up and curl it which I see a lot of people do like they'll just curl the mold my hair don't want to act right after I do that so I tend to leave a section of that hair just mold it down still and I'm just doing the same thing now I'm just going like I said I'm curling in a downward motion and you see how it's getting shorter then I'll grab this one as it gets shorter I'll grab that one and it's not even a full curl at this point when it's real to these real short pieces um, it's more of just like a bend you see juicy and I stopped using the comb at this point to move the other hair out of the way because this is real like I don't know this is like not even a science to it it's real messy the way I do it is anyway I'm just bumping it and I use my fingers because I'm not good at the comb like holding the comb I mean I could do it like when people do this but to me it slows me down because I'm real accustomed to using my fingers and I see all those sections that aren't curled. I'm going to grab all of those and they will all get tapped. But as you can see, we're almost done with the top already. Like all that's done. So then I come over here and I just keep going. So in this section, I always kind of see, you know, like how I want it. I, I don't know. It's just kind of like I know how I want my hair to go. And I've molded it that way. So this piece right here comes off this section. And this piece still goes kind of like, you'll see how I'm going to do it. I'm curling it kind of like that and pulling it that way. You see? So I'll show y'all again. I curl it, but then I'm kind of pulling off this way. So the curl will lay like that. I go back to using this comb in the sections that have a little more length. I do need that comb to move them out of the way. And I do the same 
motion where I'm curling it, but then I kind of pull it off this way. And that's it. And I, right here I start to split it because I know when it's styled I want this to go more like that and this. I don't want this piece to be coming over. Um, a lot of that has to do with your face shape and your preference. I don't like that look on me personally on my face. There's nothing wrong with it. I've seen people do it. It's real pretty. It's like a real deep side part. That's just not what I'm going for um, today. So. And as you can see, my sections are not that precise and they're not that, um, like small either. They're kind of medium sized. Cause I mean, I don't want like real, real, real curls, you know, like Easter Sunday grandma curls, but I do want it curled. I think it tends to perform better because it's not relaxed hard when I make them actual, when I curl, actually curl it instead of trying to just bump it all over. It doesn't tend to do that well with that. And when I get right here, I kind of play with this section. Um, like, I do go real small like that. And I will curl this like I did the other piece. And it all kind of will come together in the end. But now we're done with that section. And what I do here, just so I can kind of keep my shape and under and make sure I'm still curling it, you know, into the style I want, I'll grab this piece and go ahead and curl it back. Just so that when I look now, I can see like, okay, that's gonna start going down. This is where it's gonna start going this way. That's where I want it placed. So that's kind of like a guide. And then I tend to come around this way. And curl another piece so I'm like okay yeah I can see it starting to shape like I want you see we still got to go underneath and do all that but it's just like my guy like I said and this piece right here I kind of split it because I want that to go not so down like this is going to be curled down this piece is going to be curled that way. So I split this and I actually curl this like this. Ah! But I got caught up. So I curl it like that. And I do a slight pull this way, but it's not real defined. And then I come right here and I do that again. And that will allow me later to like finger it this way and get that part to disappear. Now I'm gonna go back and move this out of the way and curl this down. And then I just keep going. I'm just taking the comb, lifting up my little section and sometimes even if the section is long enough for me to use that babyliss one, I use this because the plate is longer and I can get a lot more hair in there which speeds up the process. So sometimes I do that as well. And now we're getting again to the little short parts. So just zippity do dog. How many of y'all like, I guess that I'm like doing more just not straight fashion. So it's like the hair, cause I know some people who used to watch me like y'all miss the hair cause y'all was telling me that you miss the hair videos, the hair tutorials. Even though all the old ones were still up. And if y'all want me to redo any of the old ones, I can, but I just wonder how many of y'all, you see how that's like blended like I want. That's why I don't really curl this to the edge. And yes, I know my scalp is dry, whatever. So then I'll go back and do that. Make sure, you know, any pieces. Okay, so the front, we good. You see, all this part's good. We're good here. And then what I do is I just take this first piece behind, I call it behind the part. And I make sure to comb that up 
and I curl that because I want that part to blend. So I will do that. section over comb it up and I don't I don't be tripping about the fact that I can't see the back or my parts crooked or I just grabbed a little piece that should have gone in a different section I mean I'm curling my hair myself so it's not going to be as perfect as if somebody's standing behind you and they can actually sit there and see I can't see that so it is what it is but I know how to make that thing blend so then I do that, which is just put my comb in that section. You can see this part. And now I'm just gonna curl the back. Now I'm gonna try to give y'all a second view. I'm gonna see how the footage comes out. If it's real janky, I'll just turn around so y'all can see. I'll turn around anyway so you can see. But I'm gonna try to shoot from the back so y'all could get the real back view while I'm curling it. And I'm usually in the bathroom, so I can see better I'm not in the bathroom obviously but I can see in the camera in the in the monitor so that's what we're gonna use today and I can feel a lot because I'm used to doing my hair so I'm just making sure my section isn't too thick that I'm curling grab this and I'm still using this one on these sections and this I'm just curling down and I do come off a little bit that way because I, I tend to rake my hair in that direction. So I'm going to take this comb move that out the way. And we're just going to keep going. This footage look okay so y'all probably can see what I'm doing in the back. And again I just make sure everything else is out of the way. It's not like a perfect part, like I said, if I was standing behind somebody else doing their hair, but I mean, I could see what I'm doing enough. And I could get these curls straight enough. So I just continue to do this. When I get to the sections that are way too short for this flat iron, I just move to the next one, the next flat iron, and I just keep going. And I don't go all the way down, but I do go down farther than I probably would if my hair was like real straight in the back. Um, cause it could be so wavy looking and it could actually throw the style off sometimes, but sometimes it could work into the style, which is another reason why I'm, um, curling it all the way. Like when I was up here, I was making full curls cause I, I do that to kind of also, um, camouflage how wavy my hair really is. And in a minute, I'm going to stop doing that because the hair is literally just going to be too short for me to keep doing that. So yeah, and sometimes I look in this mirror so I can get on the side. And if I see that I can't really bend the curl all the way like I want, I'll get the other flat iron. But and that's it. I just keep on keeping on curling. And there's really nothing to it. Like you can do this so fast. Like to wash and sit under the dryer. It takes me about 45 minutes because I have to shower, wash, and condition my hair. That's about 15 minutes. And then I'm under the dryer 30 minutes. And my hair is dry in 30 minutes. So then this takes about 20, I guess, to curl it and style it. So about an hour from start to finish if my hair needs to be washed. Now, if my hair is already washed and conditioned, cut that in half. And then if it's already curled, I just like refresh the curls a little bit, touch it up here and there, redo my edges. So I like those days a lot, obviously, because that's real quick. And then I'll come this way in the front so I can kind of see how we all coming together, if I'm missing little pieces, you know, how it's starting to lay by my ear, like the shape of it. Um, and I'm going to go down. Maybe like one more row. One more row. Yeah. 
and I'm just like I said, no rhyme or reason. Parting it, making sure the pieces aren't too thick, and just curl it down. Curl it down. Y'all hear the comb slapping? Cause I'm so used to just zooming through this. And you see how if I pull it out like this, I can tell that that's still straight. So I will grab that little section curl it so that when I'm like fingering through it'll blend and I do it like I'll go back like this sometimes forward just to see if there's any little straight pieces that are sticking out and if they are I can go back in and grab them before I'm you know in the process of trying to style so that's pretty much as far down as I'm gonna go so at this point what I'm doing is like just fingering and styling because in my head I have a vision of how I want my hair. So the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna mask or camouflage that part. You see how easy that was? All I did was just do that. And it just, because I curled this this way, this down, and these pieces forward, think of it like that, like this and down. It's so easy and that's how you get that blend. That's done. Up here I just kind of finger this part the little flip part that I like to make go up and sometimes I do miss pieces so I'm just kind of seeing if anything looks like it's not curled and then I'll comb through it with my comb I comb my curls out because I like them I like them curled but I don't like them um, super defined unless that's what I'm going for you see how that's pieces sticking out I'll just go back in, make sure we bend it, and now it's not sticking out. See this little piece here? And you can find your curl again, because I mean I did part it off as I curled it. You just can't see the parts, because they're on my scalp. So I do that. And I'm just turning from like all different angles and sides to make sure nothing is like sticking out. And then I do take my comb and I'm gonna comb my hair like this. Like, I'm gonna give y'all the back view again. I'm gonna comb it like this because that's how I had wrapped it. And I just tend to like that in the back. You don't have to do that, but that's kind of like the direction I like my hair to go in the back. So I just comb through it. Make sure it comes out. See how, how we got this little piece here sticking out? And that's why I go through it so many times. And I just, I'm gonna grab it and just cut it. There. See? Lay it right on down. Lay it down, lay it down. And I can tell when I have this gap like this that that means, you see, that piece is still straight. Curl it. Now, you see, it looks so much better. This is the back for y'all. And you can see it's like super wavy, but whatever. Y'all see my ball spot? Don't be talking no one's in the comments. I already told y'all I got the ball spot. But I'm, I know how to camouflage it. So you see how my sides look? Oh, Jesus, that's so bald. <laughs> um, in the last tutorial, I showed y'all how I colored it in. But you see, like, my sides lay and they blend in. So I don't like to curl them or put product on them. But y'all know me. I be constantly doing this. Clean that up real quick, like that. There, and it's done. If I wanted to go in and do more to the edges, I could, but I actually like the way it was falling today. It just gives me a real full looking hairline, so I'm not. I just will go right here and blend that, uh, blend that in. But. That's it. And I can see some little pieces like this is sticking up. You see it? That's sticking up. 
so it's not really curled enough. I'm gonna go back in and just bend the ends a little bit more. Like that, and make it a curl curl, you see? So now when I finger through it, it's not sticking up like that. And that's it. Now, with it being curly, it helps camouflage so much. Like that part in the middle is gonna be really hard to see. I can easily, like you saw me blend that, I can blend it down into the back. All oh, that's real easy because it's curly and that texture actually helps me to manipulate the hair and get it like I want. Now it's done, this is what I do. I take some more Sebastian and I spray my edges. That's what helps them stay laid down too. So I put my hand like this and I'm going to actually put the hairspray on the edges and then spray the rest of my hair. And I just pat it down to get that in there. That. Make sure it's on there. And then I go back and spray the rest of my hair. And I spray down here some too. Like I said, because we really are trying to force it to lay down when it doesn't really want to lay down. So, I spray it down there. And then I just kind of lightly go over it. And then I press. Now, if you really want this to last, get a, a humid, um, diffuser, humidifier, Jesus. Get a diffuser and just kind of set it, put a little more hairspray and set it, and it will last days and days and days if you do it that way. You just have to wrap it at night. I'm good with this. I sometimes will go back in and I will wrap my edges just so that they can lay down with the um, hairspray on them. So sometimes I'll get just a wrap strip and just tie it for just like five minutes so that they really, really lay down. But this is basically how I do it. Now to finish it, and I just, tie, this is what I do just to make sure the edges like, you know, lay down, lay down. And in the back is just, coming across my ears like so. Now to finish everything off, what I do is I just take some oil sheen. This is um, Diamonds Oil Sheen Spray by Design Essentials. I like the way their products smell. So I just give it a little bit of like a light once over. You don't want it to be looking like a jerry curl. That, and then I also love the Design design Essentials Reflections Liquid Shine. I really just love the way to smell, but it's a nice product too. So I'll spray that. Give it a second. Then I go in and I press again, because I don't want that sheen just laying on the top of the hair. So I do that. Take this off. Done. It looks nice and healthy and shiny. Check out these other videos that are going to pop up on the screen for you guys. Remember to live well and look good doing it. And until next time, y'all, bye.